Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we back, we back, we back, we live. Man, I'm excited. I'm excited about this one here, man. It's my brother. I got my brother in the building. You know, this is episode number six. This is number six, bro. So we six, six, moving six, six, and shaking. We moving and shaking. We moving and shaking, man. But I want to introduce my guy, man. I'm an edifying man. He really don't need no introduction, especially out here in Western, man. He's very, very, very familiar. And if you don't know, you better get familiar. But um, this is my brother from another mother. We done music together, man. And um, we build together. We real tight outside of music. But um, within the music, we really tight, too. And um, I believe in this dude. I know he's going to make it, man. It's just a matter of time, man. He's on his grind. My brother, Lou Gons. Yeah. Hey, good luck. Yeah. Good luck, D. I appreciate What's the mass in the building, the man? What's the mass in the building, huh? Yes, five away. You already know seven hills. Seven hills, seven hills. Yeah. I like how you got the echo, though. I like how you got the echo, though. That's the that's the old Larry Chiba. Seven yeah. hills. <laughs> yeah, Larry Chiba. Oh, we might have to talk about him in a minute. Oh, head touch him. We're going to get right. We're going to get right to it, man. Tell the people where you're from. For those that don't know, tell the people where you're from and how you got started in this music business. Yo, born and raised five away, Worcester, Massachusetts. I started this music thing about 12 years old on the turntables, man. Um, I was a DJ first. I was so in love with the music and then I fell in passion with, you know, poetry and writing and, you know, Mm. And freestyling and, and I just converted over like all the way from DJing to making beats to writing music to being an engineer just trying to weigh all the hats and uh, right right just right too much fashion too much fashion DJing huh so I, every time I do this you know I, I I interview like my bros right now so far as my bros and people I know and I'm familiar with and I always learn something new about everybody that I interview man and D, so DJing is how you started huh yeah, so like I'm talking about way back, like right. I had to put tape on the vinyl to know right. where I'm coming back to. Right. Now right. If you have all these buttons on the and mixer it, that brings it back penny. to you, like I manually had to make <laughs> yeah. sure I watched that tape hit the needle every time. Uh, beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was in that era. Respect. Like, I respect that, man. I respect all, all the high salute. technology. Yeah, you know? yeah. I respect the salute. DJ what then? What was it? DJ? I was, I was DJ Explosive. DJ Explosive. And that's funny because I say that because names, like I went through so many names, you know, I'm an artist also. And um, I just went through so many names and just, and, and I, I interviewed my guy, Salah, Salute to Saya, And he said, like somebody gave him his name. And I, I didn't have that. I didn't have anybody to give me my name. So I know your name is Lou Gons, right? It's not Louis, it's Lou, correct? Louis Gons, Lou Gons. Okay. I, I don't know which one you think sound better. You oh that I see I, I so I got my choice I got oh, I got options you get the choice because I'm, I'm like I'm going back and forth with it like which right. one should I use I've been using right. Lou Gons lately because I feel like a lot Dude. a lot of people are calling me that more okay than Luke. And, and I think people have like short attention span so the shorter the better you know you know people got uh, Demar people call me D right so they always break you know we're, we're known to break things down into smaller clips yeah. so me what's and- next you're gonna be dumb. Duh. Yeah, me and my man, me and my man Mike, we talked about that. It's like, you know, TikTok is like the new thing. So it's because it's such a short clip of thing and people's attention spans are just yeah. not like they used to be, right? So um the name Lou Gons. Obviously, we know your name is Lou. So where the Gons come in and is there meaning behind the name and how you put that together? Well, Gonzalez is my last name. I just sliced uh-huh. it in half. See, the people need to know. The people need to know. The oh, people... I used to be Spit Supreme back in the day, obviously. I remember you know, that. I remember. And, I, oh, and, and oh, by the way, oh, underground. I love that name. And oh, I see that you oh, wear, oh, you, oh, still, oh. you still wear the Supreme everything. Yeah. Well, see, that, that was my way of marketing myself, too, because it's uh, like I've always been into clothing, a right. fashion type of dude. So Supreme, right. instead of printing up my own merchandise, right. I would do the Supreme stuff. And people were like, yo, that, that shirt is hard. Yo, that crew neck is hard. You know what oh. I mean? I'm like, damn, I, I really got to stop printing things up. But I was just using the actual Supreme shit. Free promo, free promo for you, right? Promo. Um, yeah. So speaking of clothing and stuff and, and printing stuff up, I, do you have anything in mind? Do you have it? And I don't want you to, if you, if you didn't put it out yet, don't say it because people like to steal stuff. But do you, do you have anything in, in the works? Do you have an idea coming out? Do you have merch that's available for the people? I used to have some merch. I got some ideas brewing. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't mm-hmm. want to say too much, but absolutely, you know, absolutely. Uh, I'm definitely coming. gonna have. Some it's coming. 
Yeah, yeah definitely coming. It's coming. It's coming. I you know me with the gear, bro. Come yeah, on. yeah. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Yeah. I love it, and I love the jewelry. You always stay. You always stay. You got the rings and the rings and things. And, 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 and the and the girl and the girl there, huh? Huh? So you're not even from down south. Bit, you're not even bit. from down south, and you do that right. Yeah. Is that a down it's south thing? Is that part a down- of the culture, bro? It's, oh, it's part of the culture. Yeah. All right, all right. Part of the culture. I always loved how, uh, not even like the aesthetics of, of the look of it, just like right. just Raekwon and RZA back in the day. You could tell when they had their grills on when they're spitting their verses. It was just, yeah, it was nah, I, love it. I love it. Gives you character. It does. Gives you character. So what's new, man? What's what you got going on? Um, as far as projects, as far as um new music, as far as singles, anything you got coming out or that you just put out that you want the people to know about? Well, I just been I've been dropping a, a bunch of Lucy's. The the newest one I dropped is called uh, Drift Away. Mm-hmm. Uh, I love it, by the way. Yeah. Some some pain music, you know, a little bit about my life, a little bit of my story, you know. Um, if you watch the video, you got the pictures to go with the lyrics and stuff like that. Right. Uh, lately, I haven't been like really writing i just just go in and freestyle everything and it just right. whatever that's coming to you know my mind and coming from the heart and it's, right. it's tying in well um and also there's a bunch of production that i'm working on with my producer partner uh william hertz that we go by king three productions um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we got a project dropping probably sometime middle next month uh, it. it's called king three presents the gathering so it's all it. in-house uh, artists. Shout out to Novi and Wright. Uh, shout out to Wu City Pat. Um, so that's so on the on, on the project, and it's just showcasing a lot of our production and just the elevation of Lou Gons himself of of, of energy. Mm. So just be on the lookout for that. Speaking yeah, of- you can check everything out on my YouTube, Spotify. Mm. Pandora, Tidal, whatever. There's is it all the same? Is it all the same? Is it all Lou Gons? Is it all, how they find? How do they find you? Just, just uh, look up Louis Gons. Louis Gons. Louis Gons. Yeah. Man, make sure you put the I E. Make sure you put the I E. The I E. Yeah. Check all my videos out on YouTube. I mean, you know, comment on it. You can say it's hot. You can say it's whack. We need all of that. I need all of that, man. Need you know, all of that. So, yeah. because at the end of the day, it's just art. So absolutely, it's, it's an opinion. Absolutely. So speaking of production, man, um, I know you're into the production heavy and a lot of people may not know that because when they think of Lou Gons, they, yeah, I see you. I see you. When they think of Lou Gons, they think of bars and your bars, right. is, your bars is heavy and I'm on the co-sign that I already know what time it is, but um, when they think of you, they think of bars and they think of rhymes and they think of videos and, and all of that good stuff. And I want to get into the videos after this question, but um, mm-hmm. production, how did you get into production and, and, is that something you're going into? Is that going to be your thing? Is that where I you're think? Thinking? Yeah, I think that's going to be the evolution and the transition of Lou Gons okay. in the future, especially, uh, you know, I always love writing and, and recording right. and doing the, the fire bars and whatnot, but just, you know, you know, I just feel like it's a young man's game. Um, yeah. uh, and I feel like I should just start moving my energy to the production side and more producing records with other artists and stuff like that. You know, not saying that, oh, you know, um, you know, people don't believe in me or anything like that. It's just, I just feel like it's that time now. That's you, that's you. Because I've been doing this for so long. Right. It, it's time to shift the energy a little bit. Well, well, look, look at me, you know, I shifted my energy into a few other things and you know, it just is what it is, man. It's a natural progression. Yeah, I always do it. I always do it for myself. It's therapeutic. It's 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 a love it's that right. I never leave. Yeah, like it's just right. you feel good. It's a cockiness that comes with it, and yeah, the yeah. that shit will never leave. Right. But uh, to be I think, honest, the the last the last heavy thing I feel like I did was with you, you and Rex. Yeah, and that was a while ago, actually. Right. How long was that? That was, was uh that was maybe a, was, like six years ago or something. Yeah, and that was the last heavy. That was the last heavy thing where I felt like I was like, you know what? I'm going to go back in right now. I'm going to go back yeah. in. I felt like I dove back in and happened to be with you. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah. And, yeah and shout out to Rex. Yeah. Shout out to Rex. Shout out to, 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 to Queen Beats. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Man, Scrapper, that was on that record. He got yeah. some. Yeah. Yeah. Now, we had thick skin. We had. Um, and we had two was, or three joints. Yeah. No, we had more than. But that, that we that we were that we were playing with that, video at Queen Studio, we did probably like four or five records, and those other ones 
Come on. We was getting to it. We was, getting, we, we was getting to it. I love Queen. He's a good good person. Your boy, your boy hopped on one of the records too from I don't know from Roxbury or somewhere. He came he came down to Queen studio. I forgot. Ch Remember that? Chinky. That Chinky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chinky. Shout out to Chinky. Yeah, man. Yeah, he from records. Boston. Yeah, he from Boston. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man. So the videos, the visuals. I will say this, bro. I love your visuals, bro. Thank you. Your visuals for your videos is phenomenal. And I just want to know, like, where do you come up with these visuals? Is it your thing? Do you do you pass it to somebody else that you have a creative person on the side of you coming up so, with these things? Because you have a lot of like uh, uh, animation and stuff that I think is like super dope. Me personally, like you have yourself animated as a character in one of these videos and it just it fits you perfect. The movements were dope. The background was fire. Actually, I think the background was literally on fire, but it was just a dope visual, man. I just want to know where you come up with these things and if you mastermind them. Yes, I definitely do mastermind them. I, I direct them, um, but they wouldn't come alive if it wasn't for my guy, my partner, Tom, you know, uh, TC Animation. Salute, um, salute to Tom. Um, I'm in the heating business. I actually fell upon that um, at a no heat call, like almost one in the morning. Wow. Um, I went to his house. I, I gave him heat, you know, I fixed his machine. And then I saw a bunch of sculptures, artwork and things. I, and I was like, excuse me, sir, is this all your, hmm. this is all you? And he's like, yeah, why? You like it? You're in charge? I was like, yeah, you know. I, so it fell upon me right. and I took the initiative to be like, hey, you know, I do music. Maybe we could connect and work on something. And then since since then, we just connected and it's been history ever since, man. And now we, us, me and him together. So we got TC Animations and then me and him together. Uh, we got Cuchada Films oh. that, that we're starting. Man, you, know, you, got, you got a lot of irons in the fire, huh? Yeah, I got I got a lot of things brewing, man. I mean, the, the direction I've, I've always been a creative guy. You know what I mean? Right. Obviously, anybody who does music or into art and fashion. Right very creative. So I get my juices flowing. I get the directions also, you know, um, you know, my guy, Jonah Lucas too, he directs a lot of his stuff too. So I mean, right. you know, around people like that obviously helps as well. And right. other creatives, um, you just, your imagination just runs free. You know what I'm saying? Uh, absolutely. Speaking of Jonah, you, was, you did the Jonah Fest, man. Now, Jonah Fest was crazy, by the way. So, like, the people was, it was yeah. ridiculous. Like, they came out, they came out, they came out. It was, it was outside. Yeah. COVID or not, COVID or not. Yeah, yeah. COVID or not. That, and COVID surprisingly, not. that's what, that's what, that was my thing. I was like, well, COVID, and COVID, they was they outside. Were they yeah. was outside. So, biggest show you've done to date? Uh, yeah, I would say mm. so. I think, I think the, uh, I had some pretty big shows. Back in the past, when I was of course. Playing, you know, shout out to my man Kaz. Uh, and, uh, shout out to Kaz. Kaz from Rucker, Rucker Collective with uh, Motif Alumni. Right, uh, right, salute. Uh, good friends and brothers of mine that's killing the fucking game right now. Absolutely. I had some. I had a show with Saigon and Slick Rick at Sunny Purchase in New York at a college, and it was like 6,000 people or 5,000. But this one was pretty sure the biggest. 8,000, you know what I mean? 8,000. How that, how's that feel, man? How's it feel? Like, I'm an artist, man, and I perform places. And I don't think, I'm going to be honest with you, like, I got I, I can humble myself. I don't think I performed in that, in front of that many people. And, and unless, you know, I'm open opening up for a couple of people, I think it was like a nice little, it was packed. I don't think it was that packed, but it was packed. And, you know, it was, it was a good feeling. How's, how's the feeling, man, just to be up there and just spitting your, your stuff and just in front of the, all those people in your hometown? Amazing. I mean... Mm -hmm. Shit, it's therapeutic, man. Absolutely. Uh, this year has been really tough for me. So leading up to, to that was probably, it was 10 minutes, but it was the longest 10 minutes for me. And it felt <laughs> Yeah, because uh, uh, I was trying to get in touch with you prior to that, man. And it was like calling the president. I was like, yo, what's, what's good, man? It was just for other things. I was just like, yo, what's yeah. up, fantasy? What we yeah, doing? Was, yeah. <laughs> trying to prep for that and whatnot but uh yeah shout out to Jonah for that the shit the shit was the shit was lit and uh, I, I, I want to see what it is to perform even bigger than that absolutely you know? absolutely and it's coming man like I said man I believe in you and and the people I have on on the show I'm just gonna be honest with you and we can watch this back and people can watch this back and I shoot straight from the heart it is what it is 
I believe in the people I'm inviting to this show, man. Like, there's no, there's no fluff. There's no fluff. There's not like I'm just bringing people on the show just because, hey, you know, I know you. Hey, salute to the no. Yeah, you was at that game. We did actually did a video at that game, at one of the games. And that's a whole nother story. Don't let me get off track. Um, but I believe in the people I bring on the show, man. I do it. It's very strategic how we're doing it. And, and you know, the people that I bring on the show, I'm going to be honest with you, you're going to look up and these people are going to be next in line. And I truly believe in my heart that Massachusetts is next in line, man. And, and you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of talent, man. Every so. state, every state has their wave, bro. You know, yeah. and it, and for me, you know, growing up, it started in New York City, and and hip hop started in New York City. We know that, but just the wave that started in my era of music and your era, you know, we same era pretty much. But you know, when the Biggie and the Nas and all of that, they came and the Red and Meth, and they just all oh, New York just blew. And then you know, I don't know exactly the order. I might correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, then it, it, West Coast. And then the West Coast, and then Park and and Snoop and Dre mm -hmm. and all of them, boom, 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 and then it goes down south. And then down south took over. And then when it went down south, they've been running it. They've been running it. They've been running it for a long time now. You know what I mean? And it hasn't stopped. Everything's it, trap beats. Everything Outcast, is, since Outcast on the I think on, it was the BET Awards when they was like, oh yeah, I don't respect the South. And then, <laughs> hey, but then if you look at the South, you know the support. You know what I mean? Even the opening acts is like a sold out show. Like mm. it's it's all about the support and it's all about putting the next person on and yeah. That's so what's do you think, about. Do you think do you think that's what's missing from the element of 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 where we're at with hip hop out here? Yo, like passing the, the support, torch. The support and passing, passing the torch. Passing the torch around, more collaborations. Mm -hmm. More shouting out other people, put you know what I mean. Putting that's what we're doing. Position. That's why we're here, baby. That's yeah. why we're here. You know what I mean? There's enough. There's 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 enough to eat in this game, man. Enough to go around, right? Enough so so around. so speaking of that, man, is there any um collaborations that you have in? mind whether i mean you don't have to necessarily mention them it could be a yes or no thing if you would like if you don't want to kind of put it out there trying, but... you know uh the tail end of you know doing the artistry stuff I, i'm just trying to you know collab collab with more people for sure I right. got, I'm, I'm collabing with uzi baby i don't know if you heard yep yeah um yep. We, we just did a record um that's when you uh hit me on the, in the dm and instagram like yo that shit sounds hard when was you in know the studio, I was with him I'm just yep. trying to collab with more people, trying to produce for more people, uh, trying to A&R for more people. Love it. I, I'm just trying to produce and bring the best out of the artists in the city, whether they're young, old. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to be that guy right now. You know what I mean? So speaking of Uzi Baby, shout out to Uzi Baby. I hit him up and was like, yo, we're going to be at you for this show. Cause he's another guy on the come up that I that I believe in, and like you said, there's a whole lot of talent out here. So young the, and old, man. My bad, my bad. What'd you say? I said young and old. Very true. That's very true. Speaking of the, you know, the the lyricist, the and your lyricist, and you're doing the production. Um, I've never gotten into production. You know, I'm a lyricist, and I love lyrics, and I'm always going to do it, whether it's just for fun or whatever, or trying to go hard. Um, pause. Um, do you find that with the lyrics and, and writing lyrics that you kind of find yourself sometimes like in a box, so to speak, but with the production, you just like have free range. Is that, is that one of the reasons why you, why you leaning towards production or is there another reason? Uh, that's a good question. Um, to be honest, when you do your own production, it's kind of it, it's kind of hard to be inspired to be on your own shit mm. because you just spend hours making the beat right over and over, and over again. That you're right. kind of like, oh, ah, kind of over the shit. Mm. You know, you know, um, dope angle, dope angle. I didn't think of it like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Right. So, uh, when I made something. If I'm feeling it, I try to write and record it right on the spot so I don't get that block. Right. Um, I feel like I feel like art is never finished. Like you can sit there and critique it and be like, damn, I should have did this to it, this to it. You know what I mean? I think you should just uh obviously not quantity over quality, but 
if we have both just pump and dump. Love it. Go to the next, go to the next blank canvas, paint again. Love it. Move on. Artist. You're yeah, an artist. Yeah. You're an artist. Yeah, no, but you're also, when you're an artist and, and when you create, you're your own worst critic and your own worst enemy too. Very true. Um, you know what I mean? You could, you could have a whole hard drive or ex external hard drive full of fire shit, but you're so hard on yourself that you never release it. Then it becomes dated. It's just, that's why I just try to create and go. But, um, Love it, bro. you know, and, and, and just my, my time, you know, and, and being a father too, is just the artist side gets more difficult. I mean, it's a lot of money for promotion. It's not just about talent. Right. You could be the hottest guy. You need the money. You need the team. Right. You know, that's for the youth, what I'm trying to tell the youth. Um, you need a team. You need a strategy. Uh, you, you need a, a, a really good push. So where I'm at in my life, I, I just feel like being behind the scenes after I'm done showcasing what I need to showcase. Right. I'm still going to be there, but it's going to be alive through the production. I love it, bro. Dropping jewels. I don't even have to speak anymore. It's, it's hearing your eardrum. It's hearing the bass lines. You still hear me, how I, you know, do the fire bars and whatever, but it's coming through a snare, a kick, whatever. You feel my energy, my vibe, and my rhythm through the actual. I feel like you've already, I feel like you've already shifted, man. I feel like you've already shifted. I, I mean, I'm, I'm I, mean getting, man. I'm I, I feel like mentally, I feel like mentally you've shifted, man. I feel like mentally you're where you're at and you're still a lyricist and you're still fire bar in it. This, 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 this still rest of the, the year, I'm yeah, I'm still don't okay. worry. I'm okay. The whole I'm thing. waiting. I'm, I'm waiting. <laughs> okay, real quick. <laughs> so, hey, I appreciate the jewels you just dropped on the youngins, man. And they need to take heed when they watch this back. I think y'all should watch this back. Yeah, it's not rewind, right. Rewind a minute and, and take them jewels that he just dropped on you and apply them into your career for all you youngins out there. Strategy, have a team, have mm -hmm. a plan, mm -hmm. find an investor. Absolutely. Oh, that's huge. Okay, because you can sit here and keep paying your own money, 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 and you're like, yo, I'm investing in myself. Bro, I believe in myself. And I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been in this too long. That's not enough. It's you not know, enough. It's not enough. <laughs> right? And don't sit here and complain about no one supporting you or right. no one from the city. You don't need to move to blow. Right. You don't. Right. Sure. I, I know I know a bunch of people, you know what I mean? You know, Rucker Collective, straight out of Worcester. They never they they, they never moved out. You know what I'm saying? You got Motif, you got Cass, you got Jordan. He never moved out. He's right. you know what I mean? Right. It right. don't matter where you're from. It just need team, strategy, yep. execute a plan, investor. You hear me, young guys? Yeah. If you want to do this. I love it. You know what I say? I say OPM, other people's money, man. You got to get an investor. You got to get an investor. You, not, you, do it, you do it by yourself. It's draining, man. And I know. It's you draining. Know, I know. It, it, you know. Listen, I'm not saying that it can't work. No, no, you're right. It can work, but right. it's going to be very difficult. It and it's going to be draining. And you're also going to be broke. Right. So, and it, that's when you stop pointing the finger. People don't support it. Yeah, yeah. Blah, 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 because you're it's doing so much of it by yourself. And yeah. the, the young, like, if you really want to do, don't do this because you want to be famous. Do this, like, if, if it's really in your heart and it's your passion because it is it's draining and it's a lot of money absolutely get you know a studio you know luckily i'm blessed with my home studio you know what i'm saying like but to put in work equipment. yeah to get equipment or to do studio hours then you got a master then you got to shoot videos and you got to do photo shoot it's a lot of money just remember that mm, i love it bro hey next next segment we're gonna uh we're gonna role play for a minute i am a major label mm -hmm. i love lou gums i just want to see one joint to sell me and I'm, I'm putting that advance right on your lap right now and i'm signing you to my label where are you sending me what i just want to see i want to see a vision i want to see a visual and i want to hear a song at the same time so preferably a video right I want a video i want just one visual that tells me this is who i am 
this is what I rep. This is what I'm about. This is what I want you to see that I think would be my best work that you would sign me after you watch this. Which video would you send me to? Wow, that's, that's a pretty uh, hard question because there's so many like new stuff that I don't have videos to. <laughs> like, those. Just wait, you just wait. Come back in five, come back in two weeks. <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, hmm. I love it. I love yeah. it. I love I it. I think I would. I, I I I would probably do. I probably do. I, I don't know. I'd probably do everything right now if I had to choose a video. Everything. everything? Every yeah, everything. Everything. Let's go. Yeah, because you know, it. You know, we're playing everything before we leave here. That's fine. Yeah, because it's it just uh, the people. We're giving everything. We're giving everything to the people. I like that. I like that. That feels good. It's, it's, it. it's, it's pain music. It's, 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 it's me. I'm actually like, if you want to hear me, it, like it's actually me. Like, I right there at that moment, I with the visuals. I love it. I gave you when I told you things that I'm actually going. Through. I love it. So it's not That's just like bars and metaphors or whatever or some type of club songs. Just right. like, all right, well. If they're gonna like me, then this is what I'm gonna like me. This is me. This is it. This is it. And that's this what being an artist is about, though, right? Like, yeah. you know, when you when you peel back all the layers, you know, a lot of people do stuff for whatever reason, you know, whatever influences, people write songs from stuff they see and heard about and and witnessed and maybe even done some of it, but most of it was fabricated in the song and whatever. I think, I think that's what they I think that's what music is missing and lacking right now. The authenticity, it's, it's man. Not getting them them everything is like you know I mean a trap record or a club record or yep. get it that's my alarm wake up Demar. wake up so yeah so so wake yeah, up, it's, it's missing authenticity is what it's missing and right. in my in my opinion and i don't know how you would label it how would you label it it's redundant right now it is it is it is redundant and you know it's like, they, uh, it's like a full string dog and, and you could call us what you want, call us haters, call us this, call us that. But you see, people see it. And, and you know, and if you're a fan of the music, you you can actually, and you're listening and you're looking for new, it's hard to find new stuff. It's like a needle in a haystack. I like a lot of the new stuff. No, it's hard, not- it's hard to find, it's hard to find, like, should I say, not new stuff, because there's new stuff everywhere. And music is- right. new So stuff. what you're saying is to get to the, yes. to the dope artist yes. or the artist, authenticity yes. shit yes. Was the filter right the right boom, boom. Yeah. thank you thank you for clarifying yeah. that but thank yeah, you for man. clarifying that so yeah man so um what's next what's next for you where where, 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 where do you see what do you what do you see right now um in the next few months what do you see, Lou? Is is he got a is he got a new video on the way, new project on the way? What's what's going on? I think I yeah. asked that in, in the new in, project. Yeah, you asked that. The new ahead. project King Three presents the gathering. Right, right. Definitely uh, a, a lot more videos. Right. Uh, definitely a lot more collaborations, and hopefully, you know, producing for a lot more artists. And, 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 uh, right. So you, you know, got records with with big with bigger artists as well too. That's what I was going to ask you, because you have been connected and you've been in the game for quite some time now. And you have a lot of connections in the game. Me personally, that I know that you're connected, you're tied in. You're, you're definitely tied in. So I, I, I'm anticipating some some big stuff from you at the end of this, because it go by court. The right? work you got to do, brother. Just because you got the connection, you got to put that work in. I love it. I love it because you've been tied in. you've been tied in, and I see you moving and shaking, and I I call you Hollywood Lou. Call, you know that you know that I call you Hollywood Lou because you're hard to get to. You're you're hard to get to, and in, in, in for good reason. You got family, you got music, you got production, you got this, you got that. You're doing a lot, man. So um, how do you juggle? How do you juggle everything, man? How do you keep how do you keep sane through all of this, bro? Keep trucking. I mean, I really don't have an answer to that. I can't. Wow. That's a, that's yeah. too many hats. Yeah. Million yeah. dollar question, huh? Million dollar that question. Million dollar question. Your mind is just like. Right, 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 right. So I see you home. I see you. I see you home now. You got your studio in your house. So you don't even have to leave, man. You just turn, just turn to the side, turn your chair to the side and get to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. If I, if I want to. 
you know, I, here is where I do like most of my skeletons or I do records that I'm gonna lay down and then send them out. If right. I'm not making them, I'll have other people make them. But, right. I mean, home studio is perfect for skeletons and just whatever you think that's in your head, just try it out. Or, right. you know, I mean, right. before you even get to a bigger studio, if you want to cut the record that way, right? Home studio is the best way to do this. So you're not wasting your time. You know what sounds good. You know what's like, yeah, that ain't going to work. You don't want to go be paying. Seventy-five, eighty dollars an hour, and you're not prepared, and you didn't. You know what I mean? That's I'd the. Rather do, I'd rather do all the rough shit here and see what it would sound like. Does it have potential? Or it doesn't. And move on to something else. Right. So, um, how was it being in the in the lab with with Joyner? I know you've been around and been in the lab. You get a video of his. How's it being in the lab with him? Is is have you have you? I'm pretty sure you've done it. You've had to have a joint with him. You know. I've done I've done a, a, a couple of joints when I'm back in the past. One actually one here in my studio when we were younger. Okay. And some other spots. But as far as like him creative, I've never been in the studio with him. Oh no. I've been in the studio when I'm like playing like beats and shit. Like okay, okay, okay. Oh, is he gonna be on some Lou Gons production? Is he gonna be has he gonna have some Lou Gons production on something coming up? Oh, that's for that's for that's for, that's for everyone to find out. In, 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 including Lou, <laughs> that's for everybody to find out. Because <laughs> you know, because you know, you give a beat to him, you never know who might be on that one. Because my, my my guy, he's going crazy right now as far yeah, as, yeah, as, yeah, far as features. Yeah. His features, yeah. features are bananas. So yeah, so I remember, you know, when he was on his way up, you know, you you was using the video of one of his when he was on his way up. You know what I mean? So I mean, um, I'm like, all right. Yeah, yeah. I've known I've, I've known Jay for a long forever, time. forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I started with I started with his uncle. Right. It was my first rap group with his uncle. His uncle was my producer, Cyrus the Great. Right, right, right. Oh, Cyrus, Cyrus. Yeah, salute to Cyrus. Salute to Cyrus. He still he still doing music or has he fell back? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure. He is. No. Yeah. So you you record you record with uh Will, right? Will do you do, you do a lot of yeah, work with Will? Yep. Yeah. You do a lot. You do a lot of work with Will, right? Yeah, yeah. That's my producer partner, and uh, salute to Will. We man. actually, you know, shout out to Will Santana. You know who had me on the basketball yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, team yeah. At, at, at the Lincoln Church. That's where me and Will kind of, uh, you know, I've known Will like a, as an acquaintance, but that's you know we met at church, and then from there the, the connection, the brotherhood, just yeah, yeah, you know, top. You know, you know that's who kind of he you know, brought us together, baby. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I knew, and I knew you, but Will was the one who kind of put me on to you, like music, really? like musically, like I knew of you and I knew you from what's the, but it, and this is a while ago. It was so he put you on when I was Spitz Supreme. Yes, really, and it's wow. it's crazy because you know we was kicking it and it was just. Back in the days, we was just chilling and we was hanging out. You know, we was kicking it and said, I was kicking it with them. They was kicking it with me. We was playing cards or whatever we was doing. And I spit a verse. Beat came on and I just happened to spit a verse. And I was like, yo, da 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 da. And he was like, oh, you nice, da da da. He's like, you know, my man Spit Supreme. And I was like, and then he told me, yeah, government. I was like, yeah, yeah. And he was like, yo, he's nice. I was like, word. And then I was like, I gotta, I gotta look, I gotta look into this a little bit more. And then I did my research a little bit more, and I was like, yeah, oh, I was going crazy, bro. Like, it was going like, crazy. That, that I, like I was in the double XL, the source back That's in the I was, day. Yeah. I, I had an album with Ruckus Records when I was twenty. And, and when he you know, did that, see, oh, see, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta. <laughs> we, the sound effect. We gotta back up. We gotta back up. We gotta back up. We can't just skip over that, like, right. you, like you did. Yeah. Like, I, so yeah, I was grinding. Way before the social media media era, I'm, I'm sleeping them. in people's couches, uh, people's floors, the Fung Wah bus back and forth, the Peter Pan buses, mm -hmm. to do all the crazy shows. Mm -hmm. you know, people like, yo, you sleep over tonight, bro. You you record with Killer Peace in the morning, and I'm 18 years old. Like I did a lot of crazy shit. Ah. Like, wow. Like, there's, a lot, there's a lot of history I did, man. So you said you said you you said you signed out to Kaz said, and, and Jay Rowan for that. You know what I'm saying? Jay Rowan. Salute. Salute. You, you, said you, you said you signed the deal? You said you signed the deal when you was younger? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I did one, I did one project with Ruckus Records when I was 20. Gotcha. Yeah, Ruckus Records, they came out with something called the Ruckus 50, and they right. 
Oh, I remember. They I remember. picked the best 50 independent unsigned artists from the United States and, and, and all around the world. And, mm. I, and I, I was one of them that was selected. I love it. See, the people don't know that about People need to know the history, man. And, and that's one thing for me that and, and I'm not that old grumpy guy that's like, I don't like that new music because I, I I don't mind it. I love it. It's my kids, my kids love, love it. it. They play it. I, I listen to it. I don't mind it. It is what it is at the end of the day. Um, but I feel like they should know their history, though, and they should do their homework. And that's what's missing. And that's what's missing. And I think there's a gap. I think it. I think it. I think both eras. I think both eras are uh, equally responsible. I feel like you know our generation should you know pay homage and let them do their thing. They're going through their 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 shift in in sound and shift in music and shift in in, in being creative. And I feel like the young the the new era should do their homework and and. and figure out who who laid laid this path for them and and then pay, you, and then but, pay homage. But again, no no I, I feel you on the homage and, and doing no uh, the homework and and, right. and figuring out the history but, but that has to be with I, feel them. But, I feel a butt coming i feel a butt coming yeah, but they 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 need they're gonna have to take the initiative to want to do that right we can't be like the older like yo yo you gotta before right. before the time there was didn't it like right they like wouldn't you be like if you love it so much wouldn't you be curious of like how it got to this point today in the present time right. how about wow yo this is what it sounded like today this is what i'm doing what did it sound like in the early 90s uh, you know what i mean you just, like we were born at a perfect time I yes agree. we're like older men right now but like we were born like think about it we will never ever Get the golden era back. I know. It's over. It's over. Like Griselda and a little bit of that is like the yeah, last of alive, it. Yeah. Still keeping it, but like we were in prime time. Like we were alive. For in <laughs> witnessed it. People after us that's being born today will never experience that era of the culture at its purest, highest, craziest form. Facts. Now I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. Do you think they feel like they are in that right now? Do you feel like because you know when you're living in the, when you're living in it, when you're living in the era, you know you everybody thinks their era. Yeah, you know, absolutely, their era. I think I think for the younger generation, they might feel that way. They, they probably sure. feel like they They probably feel like you know they hear us say that and they're like, yeah, uh, whatever. I think this era is its purest form and is blah blah. So are they, you know, they. they, they, feel they that way. And maybe that's why they don't pay homage. I don't have the answer. I'm just, you know, we're brainstorming here, and I love it. Um, but I, I love the fact that you're open, open minded to even listening to new because I know a lot of old heads that don't even like entertain it, like the new era. So era. if you're a creator and you still want to create to this date, right? I mean, you don't want to sound like like you were left behind. Bitter. You don't want to sound like a dinosaur. So I love I love what the the you know what the sound is today you know right. what I mean I'm not hating on it but right. I you know I listen to all the young generation I take a little bit of that I right. say hey how can I twist this that is still loop right if I'm gonna if I'm gonna still release music you know what I mean absolutely absolutely well I love it man so any shows coming up for you man performing is for me I, I know when I don't really perform too much but when I do it's a Big ass crowd. <laughs> when I do, you got to like, captain, for like a year the and it's like, yo, who's performing? It's like, yo, maybe like 15,000 people there. So, yeah, that was phenomenal, by the way, man. And you killed it. I saw, I saw, I saw the video. I wasn't there. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I don't have nothing to lie. I wasn't there in the flesh. And I apologize to you, you my brother, because we spoke about this prior. Because yeah, you, 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 came, you came over to the crib. You was at the crib. We had the, we had the draft. Yeah, we, we had, had the, the draft. draft. He was like, yo, you better be there. Get there early. Da, 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 da. I was like, you know what? You I'm gonna hit me up, man. I could have got you in. Oh yeah, you know, I could I could have got inside though anyway. But you know, thing that I was actually working, so that's a whole nother thing. But I saw the video, and I saw yeah, yeah, I saw your performance from the video, and I saw the crowd reaction to you, and I love it, man. I love it, man. You're in your element, bro. 
So. Yeah, and I'm, I'm and, and you know, and I just that's, I still perform raw. You know what I'm saying? Just right. only the the chorus is in. Other than right. that, I'm doing every lyric. Love it. Love it. That's the locks. That's the locks. That's the locks. But that's old school way. You know what I mean? How you feel about that? That's so way. All right. Let's just talk about that real quick. Let's yeah, touch. On, know, let's yeah, touch on the verses. We're gonna touch on two verses. I need to touch on two verses with you because I love you. I love your mind and I respect your opinion. The locks dip set. Was it a known thing for you? Did you know it was gonna? Because I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't know it was gonna be that lopsided. I knew the locks were gonna win, me personally, but I didn't think it was gonna be that lopsided. Did you feel like that was gonna go down the way it did, or talk to me? How how do you feel about that locks? Dip no, set? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't think like. Uh, I mean, I kind of knew the locks was gonna win. I I didn't think that Jada was gonna take over like that, which he did. But yeah. uh, I think uh, what really took it over the top for them. It's, it's it, What's very important that people don't realize is the track sequence. Mm. The order of how you mm. drop the mm. points, especially mm. a battle like that. You know what I mean? You gotta, mm -hmm. you gotta make sure you know which ones to drop back, you know what I mean, back to back and what order and actually what joints, because there was a bunch of songs that were left off. Mm. So, I mean, Love it. The, verse, the verses, you know what I mean? It, it's Jada's all, Jada's. Yeah. like, because it could be like, you could take, you could do a lopsided versus. Right. You know what I mean? But the way the track sequence is, mm -hmm. it changes the game. It could be a big curveball. Yeah, absolutely. That's how you dropped it. Absolutely right. So so I was going to ask about another versus, but I want to do this. I want to go this way with it. If you was to do a versus, who would, it, who would, who would you want to do a versus with, uh, against, or whatever? But even if somebody locally or somebody in the game, just somebody you would want to do it that either you have respect for or that you just feel like, hey, listen, I just want to go eat this guy's food for the day because I, just I mean, it might feel like that to me, but <laughs> you don't know who the fuck I am. How is that even gonna work? Bro? No, I, no, I <laughs> just want to. I just want to know. This is you. This I'll is go you. after any it's top dog. Who? I'll go after any top dog. I'll go after anybody. Anybody in particular? Anybody in particular? No. No, anybody. All right, so, so lead me to my next question. That's fine. Now, that answer is fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. Anybody. Lead me. Oh, anybody's, anybody's perfect. Um, who influenced you in the game? Any artist or anybody in particular that you looked at one day and was just like, you know what? That's what I want to do. I want to I want to I want to write. I want to be dope. I want to be a dope artist. Anybody did that is that inspired you to do music, or was it just something that was just in you naturally i was actually into like rock music okay before i even got into hip-hop i can um, see i can see some of like, that i was like in the you know pantera corn all that all that all that shit oh. um everything that that, that, that uh, when i transitioned into hip-hop was when i heard 36 changes for the first time so the woo so the woo did it for you the woo did it to me, and then it, it got it, it raised it raised my antennas to go. All right, holy shit, what the fuck is this? And then, uh, <laughs> and then uh, I think what really changed my life and got me inspired was uh, Nas. It was written on. Man, man, Nas. When I heard the message. Ding, 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 ding. Fake when when that shit dropped, I was just like, "Yo, I love this." Nas, Nas influenced a lot of people. I said, "I love this shit." He influenced a lot of people, bro. Yeah, the, and I, I talked to Saya. My favorite rapper. Hey, yo, Nas influenced a lot, a whole era of rappers, bro. A whole era of rappers in 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 quality, not even just rappers, like musician. Like you're you're, you're about to transition into beat making, and Nas. Right. And Nas honestly like, changed the game too because yeah. before before Illmatic, uh, artists were just working with one producer for the whole project. Facts. You know I mean? And DJs. Facts. Then Illmatic came out and there was five, six, seven different producers on the whole thing. Crazy. And that just opened up a whole shit world. <laughs> Crazy. So I'm going to end with this. That. Like that, that album really opened up. Like, yo, now, now you're looking at the credits like, oh shit, yo, got Pharrell, got Timberland, got that. It wasn't like that. It was always one producer with one artist. So everything was cohesive. That's a great point, bro. That's a great point. Hey, I think um, I'm going to build with you outside of this because you're my brother anyway. I'm going to build with you outside of this. I think we need to do something like 
but it's something similar to the verses together locally though i really think i really think that would be a dope thing to do and just you know live live local performances of of, of artists that we feel like would match up with each other and just give them a little something to do a little platform to have and you never know it could be even you know how they got size out here which i think is why but whatever yeah. you know they could be once at one side one artist from one side and another artist from another side and just have it, it hopefully no no not no nonsense through the night but um it would be dope to bring bring the community together in yeah, that we, we way talk about this we yeah, can talk about that let's talk this. about let's talk about that after this but i just it's just a just a brainstorm and i know me and mike me and mike kind of spoke about it uh briefly but it's something that i feel like artists need to be involved with and, and if you're an artist i'm an artist we do we love the music we love the city and it'll be something dope i feel like for the city and if it's something we can we can swing then you know let's make it happen but yo man i'm not gonna cut you short because i love you bro and you're my brother but i do want to say this thank you for your time man thank you for me thank you for Thank you for making time, man, to be here. It was it was a, it was a task to get you here because you're hard to get in touch with. <laughs> Hollywood Lou, Hollywood Lou, you're hard to get in touch with. Up, man, and and hopefully next time, um, you know, we do this again. We on right. some type of island or something, or a yacht or something, and then we do wherever, it really we, wherever we're at. We're gonna be live in person. We're gonna be sitting right next to each other, you know, with a with a backdrop that's real, like you said, with a with a live backdrop. No like a little bottle too. No bro. green screen. No green screen. You know what I'm talking about, but um, you know, I told you before we get out of here, I'm gonna play your joint. So I'm gonna play this joint. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna let you close this out, and then we're gonna take it from there, bro. All right, we're going to get to this everything. I'm going to put it on, pause it, and then I'm going to share my screen. And, um, yep, yep, yep. And then I, I um, shout out to, 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 to Josh Bliss. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Shout out together. I had all Salute to Josh, scenes, man. You know, scenes in my head and, uh, you know, man, and, 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 and I cut this video up. I edited it. I don't know. Let's, let's play everything. Yes, sir. Boom, boom, boom. Mute your, mute your, um, mute your mic for me, Lou. Yeah, hold on.
couple trophies on the shelf to everybody listening. I hope you're doing well. I just want the world to really love me like a devil and pray to God that my brother stays about to sell. Yeah, tell my people farewell. Gotta make the best out of hell. I just want everything. Yeah, I just want everything. Yeah, no days off. I've committed like a wedding ring. Bravo. Let me, let me close that out real quick. That bad boy is still playing. My brother, salute. Your mute, your mute is still. Your mute is still. Hit the mute button. Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. All right. Yeah. So, so you know I mean, that's from like a couple years ago. Yes, sir. But I mean, that's some, you know, just, just that real life music, I'm giving you a piece of me, man. You know what I mean? Especially with the visuals, uh, me and my mother, my dad's gravesite, like it's deep, it's deep. Yeah, you know? and, and, and my I, son, and I seen all of that. I was looking at it and just watching it and, and analyzing everything. I'm and giving it, you the movie with the lines, you know? The video, the video was dope. The concept was dope. The the way you was in the kitchen yelling and then the, the, the sign. Uh, is everything is nothing love. without love. You know what I, mean? uh, I got, you know I mean, I got just kicked out of the crib. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Even through my tough times, I gave that man my bag full of clothes that. and everything, man. That. I just I lost everything. I saw that. I saw that, man. I, oh, Josh, meaning. Josh had a cameo in there, huh? He was, he was putting yeah. dude in the car. He was putting dude yeah, in the my, car. Yeah, he put ah. my brother. He's putting my brother, detaining <laughs> my brother in the whip. Yo, he think he's slick. He tried to get a cameo. He's like, let me do that one. Let me do that. One. I actually, I actually. Oh, you asked that. him? You asked him? Shout out to Josh, man. Shout out to Josh. He's a good dude. Yeah, man. So, yo, listen, I love you, man. Thank you for your time, man. You're my brother, bro. Like, this is a special edition for me, man, because, you know, you're my brother. We go back. You know, we got joints together. You know, next time we get on here, next time we do this and we're going to do a game part two, we're going to play the joints we did. You know what I'm saying? Just so we can relive that. We might not give the whole song or whatever, but we'll play a little bit, play a little bit of those. We'll go back and recap everything, where you from, where you where you came from, to where you was at this point that we did this one, and to where you're at then, because I really feel like you're about to transition into the production. Yeah. And I see big things. I see big things for you on the production yeah. side of things. Because of your creative me, side. Louis Gons on all social media platforms. King 3 presents The Gathering real soon. I'm telling you. I can't wait. I can't wait, bro. I love it, man. Yeah, for salute, beat. Salute to you. Salute to Will. Salute to everything you do, man. I support everything you do, man. Anytime, anytime you need anything on the outside, you already know what time it is. Link me, man. Thank you so much for having. Thank you so much for letting me have you on the show, bro. It means yeah, a lot. Course, man. Thanks for the invite, bro. It's nothing. One well, love, Lou. Yeah. Um. Peace. Peace. Peace.